Let's spend a few moments just following the journey of your breath. Next inhale, just follow it all the way as far as it takes you. And then as you let it go, as you sigh it out, just allow your belly to empty. Take our arms down by the side. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, side out. Inhale to reach up. One more time, we inhale to lift. And then we side out. Let's bring one hand to our heart center, the other down to our belly. You might feel the breath coming into your lower hand. So yesterday we explored this idea of stillness as being the one idea that pretty much the whole world agreed on thousands of years ago. Across Christianity, Buddhism, Taoism, the ancient Greeks, the Romans, they all had this sense of prayer, stillness, meditation, many names for it, but the idea that we don't find answers when we're out running around, thinking, trying, moving, we find answers when we become still. And we talked a little bit about that idea of the stira and the sukha, these two yogic concepts, remembering that yoga is not so much about being flexible and exercise, it's this idea of preparing the body to allow ourselves to be still. And how do we do that? These two concepts, the stira is the steadiness and the sukha is the comfort or the ease. So we train our body to be able to sit without the distractions of the body. So many times our body can hold tension, emotion, nervousness, fear. Our mind can be busy and muddled. And then we go into our minds trying to find the answer to our mind, which kind of makes no sense when you say it out loud a problem, finding a solution to the problem itself. So we have this other option, this option of mind training. And that's essentially what we do every day. And whatever has brought you here, whether it's a desire to be more fit, to be more flexible, whatever thing it is, the mind training comes with it. That's the beauty of it. So my friend overnight sent me this note about having a high amount of fear at the moment and reading lots of books to find the answer. But the truth of practice is that the answer is in the not knowing, in the letting go. And it might take you a little while to get your head around this idea that we don't need to keep searching for answers, but essentially practice Meditation, this kind of movement teaches us that we already know the answers. Our bodies are incredibly complex systems, keeping us alive. And the problem is not that we don't know. The problem is that we can't embrace this idea of not knowing, this idea that the most important thing is to know what we don't know. Most important thing is to trust. A 
And as we find this stira and this sukha, this steadiness and comfort, and we learn to sit, move away from all the distractions and obstacles, maybe we learn something about ourselves, get closer to that point of calm and insight, sense of experiencing life as it is, as it presents to us. We stop pushing back, fighting, reacting, responding. We learn to allow, we learn to enjoy. So wherever your mind is taking you right now, just come back to the breath. Today we're going to do some movements, first some yogic type movements and then a couple of qigong movements specifically for the water element for our kidney and bladder meridians. And these are all movements where we send qi, send energy into our kidneys, into our lower back, our lumbar spine. And if you're sitting and you have a sore lower back or you feel tension or pain there, chances are it might just be this sense of striving over a long, long period of always looking, always needing to know. All the geniuses of the world are very present about their sense of not knowing, sense of exploration, of curiosity. So these obstacles we might bring into our lives. They could be our thoughts, of course. They could be our habits, what we eat, what we drink, what we do, how much we sleep. Obstacle might be our, our inner critic, our sense of always questioning our, our worth. Maybe our sense of self-sabotage, never following through on something starting many, many new projects and never finishing any. Maybe it's just our inertia, our indecisiveness. These are all simply obstacles, obstacles we put in the way of training our mind. So today, we listen. And the sense organ relating to the kidneys, to the water element is our ears, but we're not listening so much for the best life advice ever. We're listening in the sense of just being open, being curious, forgetting what we know and seeing what we can find out. All right, let's open the eyes, maybe shake it out a little bit. Our kidney meridian ends in, in our chest, just up here. So just let's tap across there. Let's find our connection. Allow our shoulders to relax. Collarbone is wide. moving energy back into this part of the body. And then let's come around to the back. Just rub either side of the spine right down at the sacrum, the lumbar spine. You can rub with your hands. You might turn the knuckles over and just tap with the knuckles or the ends of the fingers. We're going to start practice today lying down on the ground. So whenever you're ready, just come down all the way. And just allow your feet to flop out, allow your whole body to grow heavy onto the mat. Now see if you can flatten your spine and tuck your tailbone so your tailbone flips up a little, spine is heavy. And the first exercise we're going to do is one of the Tibetan five rights, the one where we lift our legs, 
our upper shoulders and head off the ground. Let's take a breath. As we inhale together, legs come up, arms lift a little, neck and shoulders come up. Exhale down. Inhale to lift. Maybe check in with your spine, keep that spine heavy. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, fold down. You're very welcome to bend your knees here. If you feel that arch in your spine, if there's any pain in your lower back, just bend your knees. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, fold. Now let's just do one more. Let's draw our hands between our legs, grab the end of our feet. We're just gonna pull the knees towards the chest in a happy baby position. Very flattering angle for us all. And just bring your thumbs to find your kidney points just below the ball of your foot in between the first and second toes. And we're just gonna press in there with the flat of our foot. And just slowly work up along that inside arch of the sole of the foot. This is the start of the kidney meridian, the bubbling spring point. And, and slowly work up the inside of the legs. You might knock or tap inside your shin bone. And we're working up the kidney meridian now. And then let's bring our hands around the outside and come up the bladder meridian. Bladder meridian starts inside our eyebrow, works all the way up the back of the body. All right. Now, if you feel comfortable doing this, we're going to roll along our spine, right along our bladder meridian and just give our spine a little massage. You might flip over, protect your neck. Everyone looks a little bit different when they do this. So just come up as far as is comfortable. Roll through your spine. Take as many rolls as you like. Making sure you don't roll back and put any pressure on your neck. You might wrap your arms around. You might fall onto your feet. Whatever works for you. And we slowly come up to sit. We're going to extend the legs out. And bring our hands to the ground beside our hip bones. I'll inhale to press into the feet and lift the body up. Exhale, draw the hips back between the hands. So keep your heels and your hands in the same position here and press through the floor to lift your hips back in between your hands. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, spine down. Inhale to press up. Exhale. If we actually had visitors at this house, wouldn't you? Exhale, side out. And let's just bring the soles of our feet together. Come back to that kidney point. And just side out. Bring a little bit of heat into the body. Let's extend the legs back out. And we're going to, using our core strength from our dantian, lower belly, we're going to lift our sit bones and just walk forward and using our bladder meridian, bringing energy into the back of our bodies. And you might lean forward on the same side as the sit bone you lift. 
and slowly come forward, but make sure you don't dump into the lower back. So lift first, big inhale, and then we reach forward. And you'll slowly, hopefully, come a little closer to your screen. Take a breath. And then let's slowly come back the same way, reaching forward, same arm, same leg. Really drawing all the strength from here, not from those spinal muscles. And shake it out. Let's come back onto our back. Let's take our hands onto our knees. Rotate through the knees. Rotate through the hips. Rotate through the ankles. Just moving water energy through our body. Maybe our wrists as well. Both directions. Rock ourselves up, roll over our knees, and we'll come onto all fours. Let's just pads down through the floor, pressing our fingers, pressing our toes into the mat. We're going to lift up our right leg and swing the leg right behind the body and roll up our right arm. So we're opening through the psoas muscle on the front of the body. Just reach up, maybe reach forward, and then just take a little movement through the shoulder joint. Feel a bit of that energy running through the bladder meridian. And slowly, Bring the body back, knee comes to the ground. Let's lift up opposite leg, take it behind, slowly reach up the left arm, find your balance, make sure your shoulder is stacked directly over your elbow and wrist, and then maybe move through that shoulder. And we slowly roll back. Let's try that again. Right arm, right leg lifts up. Swing the leg behind, reach it back. Right arm peels up. And then just move through whatever range of movement you have. Down, right arm comes under the shoulder, left knee reaches up and behind, peel up the arm. And reaching forward, rolling around. Take your hand back. We're going to walk the hands forward. Take the knees out wide and drop the shoulders down. Take a breath. Slowly walk the hands back towards the shoulders, press yourself up. We're going to step our right foot forward in between the hands, so just come into that kneeling position. Inhale to reach the right arm up. Exhale, 
hand to the mat. Slowly walk the hands back, straighten that front leg. And walk the hands forward. Let's bend that back knee, lift the foot up, maybe reach back and grab it. Take a breath. Doesn't matter if you can't quite reach. You just feel a strong sensation in the quad of your left leg. And then slowly bring it back down. Let's inhale to step forward and halfway lift. Exhale, let it all go. Let's step back with our right leg, knee comes to the ground. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, hand to the mat. Walk your hands backwards, straighten that front leg. And walk them back. Let's bend that right knee, reach back. Maybe you reach it, maybe not. Take a breath. And hands come to the mat. Step it forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Take our arms behind the back, reaching up. Arms come together, shoulders draw together. So we take our next breath, let's feel our belly expand into the thighs. Really feel that sense of engagement at the back of your legs. Maybe bring your attention back to that kidney point, that bubbly spring point on the base of your foot. Feel the energy moving up through the bladder meridian. And exhale, let's take our hands to the mat. We're gonna walk our feet very slowly right to the back of the mat. Lift the tailbone up, drop the shoulders down. Take a breath. And let's press through the feet. Maybe alternate leg one side and then the other, pressing through the heel. Walk the feet a little forward and walk them back. Just feeling that energy move through the back of the legs. Take a breath. Drop our knees down to the mat. Swing our right foot forward. So we're back in that kneeling position. Let's inhale to lift up, reach up. Hands come to heart center. Inhale together. Exhale, bring our elbow outside the knee. Take a breath. If you'd like to press through the foot and lift the back knee, do it. Otherwise, stay where you are. Inhaling together, and exhale, hands come to the mat. Inhale, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring our hands to the mat, step our right foot back, knee comes to the ground. Inhale, we lift up, reach up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Inhale, take your elbow outside the left knee, press into the palms. Take a breath. If you feel steady here, press through the front foot, lift the back knee a little off the ground. Side all down. Let's bring our hands to the mat. Stepping the back foot forward, halfway lift, hands to the shins. 
Exhale, sigh it out. And we're slowly going to come up one vertebrae at a time. And just allow yourself to settle into a standing position. Get a sense for where your energy is at right now. Maybe rock a little between heels and the ball of the feet. Maybe lift your toes. Just get a sense for a new energy having moved through the spine, through the back body. Collarbone is wide. Just drop down the space between your shoulders. Feel yourself sink back through the heels. We're going to just do a couple of kidney qigong forms. Starting with the front facing teacups. So we cross our palms over. Inhale to reach up, palms always facing up. Bend the spine, take the hands in and out. And then we come back to the start. Inhaling, bend the knees, press through the heels. Exhaling, come forward. As you move through this, see if you can feel like your spine is flowing like water. As you come through the movement, ease into the flow of it. Pressing through the heels, inhaling to lift, exhaling fall. Arms face up the whole way as much as you can manage. Rest through the floor to feel that stability as you roll through the spine. Wherever your mind is taking you, just come back to your breath. Maybe just bring a little smile to the corners of your mouth. The longer you move, the more effortless the move should become. Finding that connection between the movement and the breath. Getting a sense for the flow of chi within our body. Maybe also a sense that those obstacles are moving out of the way. Whatever they may be. And we slowly come back to a standing position. Take a moment just in stillness. Maybe we tell ourselves, I have arrived. This is my destination. When I stop always looking, always searching for answers in my mind and I trust that we already know.
Let's exhale, swing out, right arm down, left arm comes to the lumbar spine, let it all out. Inhale, reach up, lift up, twist the spine. Exhale, take the hand across the body and twist to the opposite side. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, down, press through the heels. Switch hands, exhale, let it all out. Inhale to reach up, lift up. Lock the star, take it across the sky. Inhale back to the center. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, turn. Feel that connection between your hand and your lumbar spine. Side it all out. Big inhale to reach up, lock the star, transform it across the sky. Inhale back to the center. Exhale down. Let's do one more each side. Sign it out. Inhale to reach up. Pluck the star. Twist the spine. Inhale back to the center. Side out. Let it go. Empty out the lungs. Inhale to reach up. Inhale. Exhale back. Let's place one palm on the dantian, the other palm comes over the top. Take a moment now to get a sense for feeling of energy in your body. Our chi is our life force. TCM, Chinese medicine, it's believed that we hold this life force in this part of our body, front and back, our dantian. Maybe you can move one of your hands to the back of your spine, the Ming Men point. It's directly opposite where your front hand should be. Whenever you're ready, just come back into a seated position. Finish today's practice just with a short meditation. Let's close down our eyes. Maybe bring your attention back to the breath. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, I come into the present moment. And I know that this is the only moment. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, I come into the present moment.
And I know that this is the only moment. Let's bring our hands to the heart center, palm presses into palm, and just rest the knuckles of your thumb on your sternum. The center is called the sea of tranquility, acupressure point that calms. It's through this calm, through this stillness that we get insight. So if you're still combing through endless self-help books, trying to find the answer to fear, just come back to your breath. It takes much practice to train ourselves to have this stillness. It doesn't come easily. And we keep putting all those obstacles in our way. So whatever your obstacle is, whether it's self-doubt, your inner critic, your ability to self-sabotage, to be indecisive, to not commit, whatever it may be, just be kind to yourself. Just use practice to notice those obstacles and maybe use those obstacles to give you a path, a way forward. We use practice to give us this awareness and we use the awareness to form intentions. So whenever you get into the mindset of, I don't like this, I don't want that, simply take a breath and switch the energy into, I choose. This is our karma, this is our journey, small intentions that give us a way forward. There's four simple rules for stillness that I remind myself of every day. Number one, forget about the past. Number two, we stop anticipating the future. Number three, we teach ourselves to be in the moment. And the most important one, number four, we leave our mind alone. So right now we just honor our mind, honor our body, honor our heart. Finish our practice accepting exactly where we are. Maybe we make a small intention to come back to the mat tomorrow. Let's create a little bit of heat with our hands. And Maybe bring the hands up to your face, just sealing in the learnings of practice today. Maybe a sense of gratitude for the decision to practice and the commitment that you've made. It's a gift to everyone we meet on our journey today and every day. Thank you for sharing practice with me as always, everyone, and hope you have a fabulous day. Get out into the sun if you are in Melbourne. It's looking very nice out there. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. Have a nice day. Thank you.